Well, hey there, everybody. Well, I got my garden done. I'm done selling plants at the market. Got my chicken coops uh, all finished up. Baby chicks are all happy down there, getting ready to move into the new expansion. Other greenhouse is empty. So now I'm going to be building something right there. So what I plan on doing right here is I'm going to be doing a uh, raised formal pond uh, water feature right here and it's going to be all around this direction right here and it's going to go two tiers uh, drop down from one to the next it's going to be all brick and I broke out some very old tools that I haven't used much and haven't used for a long time so we're going to have to see how well I can uh, lay some brick out here haven't mixed any mud for uh, at least 20 years but I'm going to try and I'm going to come down here I'm going to set it down I already got all the materials got all the brick back there uh, around the side of the house and I'm just going to go to town here it's probably going to take a week or two to build this thing and maybe longer but this is my project for the summer seeing how lumber is so expensive right now brick is still the only affordable thing at Lowe's so we got the pavers here and then I got a whole bunch of brick well anyway once again that's my concept design right here and that's what I'm going to try to build whether or not I build it or it looks like this we'll see when we finish up all right, well, I laid down some just to give me a look to see what this is going to look like. And I figure I need to move it that direction a few feet uh, because that's a little bit close next to the side of the uh, greenhouse there. So, good thing I set them just to get a little placement to see how it was going to look. And I'm definitely going to have to move it up a little bit. I got a little bit of help from my daughter and have all the grass taken up. I'm not going to get too involved in putting down the pavers. There's a lot of YouTube channels out there with a lot of videos from people that have done this a lot more than myself. Well, with help from the family, I was able to get it fairly level. Still got to bring it down another inch or so. But it took most of the day to dig this out. Well, I have all the pavers put in. They're nice and packed in really tight. In hindsight, I probably should have poured. But then if I wanted to pour, it'd cost a whole bunch of money in lumber. Probably more than the cement. Uh, just to frame it in. And then I'd also have to wait seven days for the cement to cure. Next, I'm going to start laying some brick down. As you can see here, because I'm in the Pacific Northwest, I have a tarp ready to go, just in case one of these storm clouds decide to come over the top of me and rain, I have some quick action to get the whole project covered. And that way I don't ruin it by just some rain. Well, I got the first level of blocks laid. I had to put the tarp on a couple times for some rain squalls coming over. And the main thing that you got to remember if you're doing this is you got to make sure that you are very level. If you're not level, the water will be able to tell. I got a lot of work ahead of me. It is raining. I got the second level done yesterday. I want to try to get the third level done today, so I put up a tarp. Got it draining off. That way uh, the water won't accumulate and I won't have to 
do a whole bunch to it. Dog's checking out the water there. She's going, what is that? Is that drinking water? But hopefully this works and hopefully I don't get too much side wind. I got it tied down with a lot of paracord right now. So should work just fine and dandy. Well, I'm all done with the blocks. And with the uh, laser level here, the difference between that corner, that corner, that corner, and that corner, I got about a quarter inch uh, difference. So that shouldn't look too obvious with the water. Next, I have my shelf that's going around there. And now it's time to dig this out a little bit. And I'm going to put all my dirt from the middle right inside these holes here for the blocks well I decided to do something before I started digging down in here and bringing this down another foot and that is add some concrete and rebar into it I figured I don't want this thing blowing out even though I don't think it will I figured why uh, take all the time to build this thing if there's a possibility so Two foot pieces of uh, rebar in here going down, and then one 60 bag, 60 pound bag of concrete mix fills one of these and a little bit more. So I strategically put a whole bunch of them every few holes here, and that's just to give a little bit extra support just in case. Well, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining like crazy. That's coming off my tarp. Let's uh, cover the lens and uh, get down there. Okay. I have this dug out at my shelf here. And then the lower level, I got three feet down. And it's time to put in some, uh, some underlay. Well, still raining. Got the underlay in. Now I'm gonna put in the uh, pond liner. All right, so I got a little bit of help. Got the liner put in. It's still pouring rain. As you can see, I'm using the rain to help fill up the uh, liner a little bit. And once the liner gets up a little ways, then I'll get back in there and uh, position a little bit better. All right, well, I got it about three fourths of the way full. I just turned the uh, hose back on here. And then right here, I got a pump hooked up. It is solar powered. It's an eco-worthy solar fountain water pump kit with a 20 watt solar panel. Uh, it's supposed to be 360 gallons per hour. It's actually doing really good. And uh, it's about 150 bucks. But as you can see, that is a lot of water flow coming out of this. So that's gonna work just fine. But I'm still working on brick. So I started getting a few bugs into the uh, water of the pond, so I figured it's time to get some fish. So I went and got about 40 goldfish. And over here, got a couple koi. Just start with small ones. Well, I trimmed up the sides a little bit, got some of that extra plastic and underlay off and just temporarily put some pavers over the top. I don't know yet what I'm gonna be doing for the water feature there. But I didn't have any fish belly up this morning, so that's a good thing. Let's see if I can see one or two of them. couple of them swimming down there 
the koi, the two koi that I got are still good too, so that's a good thing. And all the fish are happy. And I put some blocks in here. A couple blocks. And that's for the plants. So I can put some plants in. Put underlay underneath the uh, blocks. Yes, that does say 109.4 degrees in the shade. And I have not been able to do hardly any work on this thing the past week. It's just been way too uh, hot outside. Been trying to keep my garden alive, keeping it watered. Trying to keep my chickens all uh, watered and uh, a little bit cooler. I got a uh, hose over there spraying off a little bit of water for them in case they uh, want to get some mist. But it is just way too hot to do anything. Even with the tent that I put partially over this thing and the 110 degree temperature yesterday, the uh, temperature of the pond got way too hot and I lost uh, both my koi in here. Uh, some of the smaller goldfish still made it. But it's 81 degrees in the uh, pond and it is 5.30 in the morning. crazy well all the excessive heat did uh, cause the water to murk up a little bit and a few of my 40 goldfish that I threw in there did die but one of the benefits of it is chickens love them they're just going to town swallow that thing whole Well, learned a lesson fast, and that is water temperatures make a big difference. I lost a couple of my uh, really cheap koi and a few of the 40 goldfish that I had in here. Water murked up, and water temperatures got way up there. So, I decided to build a little cover for this thing. Spent the money on the overpriced pressure treated lumber and took a break from my brick work added some lights I'll show you what it looks like at night and back to the brick work well the Sun went down about an hour ago and I don't think the lithium battery for the solar panel charged up enough during the day. We had a marine layer over the top of us for most of the day. Cleared up about two o'clock in the afternoon, but it was pretty dark out today. I have another uh, system coming in, and this works good if you get a full day of sun, but just not quite working right if it does not get a full day of sun. All right, well, I got the final side done. Not the greatest, but pretty good for me. Got some cleaning to do on it. Got to take a wire brush to it. Still working out how to uh, get my solar panels to work the best. Wife picked up some nice pots, some planter pots for it. And we're almost ready to go. We're almost all done with this thing. Gonna show you what it looks like at night here in a second. All right, so I got it all done. Got it all backfilled. Took quite a while to get this thing done. Uh, I hurt my Achilles early in the year. So it made me go a lot slower. So I'm going to have to be going through surgery here shortly. But for the most part, this thing turned out really nice. I got two pumps over here. Uh, the both pumps are working off the of different solar panels. I 
All right, so this is what the pond looks like at night. All the lights are lit up on it. Got the water flowing in the back. The 50 watt solar panel runs until about midnight. The 100 watt solar panel with its uh, battery uh, runs around, oh, I'd say about four or five in the morning. Sometimes it'll go all night if it has a full charge. All right, well, it took me a while to get this thing done. I do enjoy coming out here, listening to the water, watching the fish when they come up to eat. And I'm still working on a lot of the solar, making sure that the solar is going to work in the winter time uh, with the bubblers and the uh, little pumps that I have out here. But I expected this thing to take maybe two weeks. Well, I hurt my Achilles earlier this year and I had to slow way down. So therefore this two week project took me about four months to get done. But it's worth it, it paid off. Uh, I think it's beautiful, hopefully you do too. And if you're thinking about making a pond, here's a pond idea for you. So hey, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, give me a big thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, happy gardening and have a great day.